Welcome, my name is Jason and I'll be reviewing the Raging Mammoth Sabretooth versus the new Beer Spike. Right here we have the Magnum Sabretooth by Raging Mammoth. This guy is made out of stainless steel with a polished finish. It's really nice, I've been using it for a while now. And over here we have the brand new Beer Spike, which I just got. Let's see if I can get it to focus in on the new logo that it's got stamped on the top. This guy's made out of brass has a nice bit of weight to it with a good spike and I'm gonna be comparing the two. First off, let's compare their can venting abilities. I find that it's a lot easier to vent your can before you open it. So right there, it's a nice vent. Now we can drink this guy with a good flow. Let's see how the beer spike holds up to the venting abilities. This is my first time venting a can with the beer spike and it made a nice square hole. That looks really good. Let's compare it to the saber tooth hole. Both of them look like they're very good and easy to vent cans with. So in that side-by-side -side test, I wouldn't say either of them was better. Next off, let's open up a bottle. I found that this is not the easiest task with my saber tooth because sometimes it'll actually pierce the bottle cap, just like that, and then it makes it hard to open. And then you have to twist it around, try on the other side, Oh man, try it one more time. There we go. Sometimes Sabretooth is a little too much. In comparison, let's see what we can do with the new spike. It's a little sharp, a little pointy to hold to on the bottom, but it's much easier to open up a bottle. I'll definitely give this one to the spike. That came off really easily. Last but not least, our most important test will be the shotgun hole test. So the saber tooth has not really failed me on making a nice shotgun hole. So you get that little initial hole and then you use the saber tooth and you just peel it back a little bit to extend the hole. Get it nice and big so you can have a good shotgun flow. I'm excited to use the beer spike and see what it's got on that. I'm kind of excited to just, you know, stab the can. Oh, let's see without puncturing through to the other side of the can and get it pretty much all the way down in there and it made a tiny hole Let's see use this side to make it bigger maybe that's not very big the saber tooth definitely made a bigger hole hmm I think just on the ease of use of the saber tooth, I'd make that the victor in this test, but it was fun to stab the can with the beer spike. I can make the hole however I want with this. It's a lot easier to spread it out wide with this beer spike, but the saber tooth just made that big hole right away and it was much quicker. It could be that I've used the beer spike less than I've used the saber tooth, that's why I didn't get such a good hole right away. But uh, that turned out pretty nice. This one's for the good fellas. Here's a quick comparison shot of the beer spike and saber tooth holes made for shotgunning. Another good test is how well does this guy fit on your keys? The beer spike? It's actually not that bad. I don't know, it's sharp and pointy, so I don't know if I want to keep it in my pocket, but time will tell with that. It does fit on a key ring pretty well though, and it kind of lays flat like your keys do. The saber tooth lays pretty nicely on a key ring. You can check it out. This guy's kind of heavy because it's the Magnum, but it also lasts longer, so you get that nice quality compared to the regular saber tooths I've had. They are lighter, they're easier to carry around on your keys, but this guy does fit nicely. It's not bad. To conclude this review, I would say that the Beer Spike and the saber tooth are very comparable products. I don't necessarily think that the Beer Spike is a replacement for the saber tooth. I'd say it's just another awesome product that Raging Mammoth offers. It's a little bit better at opening bottles, as you can see by this guy right here. Everything else, I would say the Sabretooth is just as good at. Um, 
for shotgunning beers, the beer spike does give you kind of a more versatile hole. You can create however big a hole you want, whereas the saber tooth, you're kind of limited to that. Um, but they're both really great. I think that the beer spike is awesome, and I'm glad that I have both.